Right. Yeah. With the parables. Yeah. Look yep. at the parables. Mm -hmm. Jesus' favorite method of teaching was through object lessons. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that, that, you know, I mean, this is kind of, you know, bringing in when we need to learn how to see the Bible as God, saw, as God sees the Bible, mm. right? How to see the Bible as Jesus sees the Bible. A lot of times you hear this term exegesis. Mm -hmm. right? Exegesis is the attempt to get into the mind of the author. What was the author thinking as he was writing? Mm -hmm. Right. So when you're reading the book of Daniel or when you're reading, you know, Isaiah, you're trying to get into the mind of Isaiah. What, what was the, the, the what were the surroundings in that time? And when Isaiah wrote this, who was a letter to? And, mm -hmm. you know, what was he what did he mean by what he, you're getting into the mind of the author? And and that's, you know, praise God. But guess what? Isaiah is not the ultimate author of the book of Isaiah. That's mm -hmm. right. Daniel is not the ultimate author of the book of Daniel, mm -hmm. right? We're talking about the ultimate author, which is God himself, yep. which is Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. So I have to get into the mind of Jesus mm. if I want to understand the full depth of the scriptures. And whoa, what better way to have this mind <laughs> mm -hmm. be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Yes. That's why studying the Bible helps us to receive the mind of Christ. Listen, ask Daniel if he understood half the things he wrote. <laughs> Man, if I try to get in Daniel's mind, I'm going to be right where Daniel was. Uh -huh. I understood not. I understood not. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? So yeah. there was one greater than Daniel who understood, okay, what did God intend when he was telling Daniel to write? Mm. So that's where, I, you know, I really see a need for us to begin to try to get into the mind of God, get into the mind of Christ to understand the scriptures. Yeah. Looking for Christ in the scriptures, that camera, that Bible story, um, that text, where is Christ in this story? Mm -hmm. And that's, so that would be um, a juiced down version thus far <laughs> of full <laughs> theology. That is amazing. It is. I mean, really, when you're looking for Christ on every page, I remember you came and you did a camp meeting, a 3ABN camp meeting, mm -hmm. and you preached. It was, it was serious heartburn, yeah. uh, as you mentioned earlier, yeah. but you were talking about how to find Jesus on every page, and you gave illustrations of that yeah. throughout the Bible, a juice down version. A juice down version. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That that's amazing, and it really paints the picture in a whole new light. It makes you look at the Bible in a whole new light. Yeah. Well, I like what you said about God never wastes. Yeah. Anything, and he, it, you know, we know that. We know the way He moves. He doesn't waste. He doesn't just accomplish one thing with yeah. one move. He accomplishes right. many things with one move. Right. So. It, it bears to reason that he would have this whole multidimensional aspect in the word. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you didn't just say multidimensional, did you? I did. You did, didn't you? Oh, wait a minute. You did. And, and that's, that's nice that you said that. Is because that who God is? That is one of the aspects of phototheology. Hmm. It's something, it's another principle that I have called uh, five dimensional Bible study. The mind of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, tell us some more, Pastor Myers, about the five dimensional aspects of study. Is that it? So, um, five dimensional Bible study. Um, and you know what? Before I touch on that, uh -huh. we were just talking over the break. I wanted to bring something up about the importance of how to study the Bible. Oh, good. Because good. what, you know, what I have seen in my experience is that, you know, I'm a pastor. Right. Um, I pastor to Campbell, you know, Seventh-day Adventist Church and um, Campbell, peace. <laughs> <laughs> you have to um, give a shout out to the church. Yeah, right. yeah. Absolutely. Um, but what I have found in my experience as a pastor is that, you know, a lot of people in the church depend on their pastor to study for them. Mm, this and, is a good point. You know, it's, it's, I believe that they, you know, the pastor goes, does his study, puts together his sermon, and then he preaches and the people receive it. Oh man, that was great, that was great. Where the, the pastors feed the flock, but sometimes the flock depends strictly upon the pastor mm. in order to be fed. 
I think one of the things that we as pastors need to be doing is not just feeding the flock, but actually teaching them how to feed themselves. Yeah. And, you know, I know that I, I had never had someone come to me and say, listen, this is how you study the Bible. Like, it's almost as if that was reserved for the theology student. Mm. Okay, we're going to teach the theology students how to study. But for the rest of you, you don't really know, need to learn how to do that. I mean, you know, kind of figure stuff out on your own and whatever, but it's not, that's not really your burden. Mm -hmm. But I think the more educated our people are in terms of learning how to get into the scriptures for themselves, yes. you know, it's almost like we have the, this tool, the, this toolbox, and, you know, as a pastor, this is, this is our tool of, you know, the tools we use to study the Bible. But we need to be sharing those tools with our members mm -hmm. yes. so that they are now equipped to get into deep Bible study. I think that one of the things, one of the, I think the underlying issue that we are facing in our church is how we approach the scriptures. Hmm. Because how we approach the scriptures determines, you know, I mean, look at all the, the controversies we have going on in our church right now. And I'm not going to name any of them. Right, but these right. are all theological controversies, right. right? The bottom line is these controversies are coming up because there is a difference in opinion, in view of how to approach the scriptures. Mm. And as long as that exists, no, this is the right way to study the Bible. No, this is the right way to study the Bible. You're, we're going to come to different conclusions. Mm. Now, I'm not saying that th I'm, there's a right way and a wrong way to study the Bible, but I don't think there's any one right way to study the Bible. Okay. I think there's several ways to approach the scriptures, mm -hmm. but the way that you, you know, some people are like, well, that way is, you know, this is the only way. And that I don't believe at all mm. because God, the, I mean, I believe that God has a thousand different ways to reveal the same truth, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how I approach the scripture. So when someone approaches truth, gets to truth in a way that I may not be, you know, either familiar with or, you know, I'm not sure how they arrived at that particular truth, but it's truth. Mm. I'm not going to knock the way that they got there. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It got them there to that truth. And maybe that's how God spoke to them. But yeah, you, so you discovered the truth about, uh, you know, uh, um, the law of God. Okay, well, hey, praise God, because mm -hmm. you, you came to that truth. Mm -hmm. So we need to, I think there is a hermeneutical crisis mm -hmm. in our church. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Right? And, you know, this person is like, no, 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 you know, you're reading the Bible wrong. No, 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 you're reading the Bible wrong. And you have like two scholars, right? that have come to completely different conclusions on the same text, mm -hmm. both claiming we're scholars, and yet you're coming to two different conclusions. Mm -hmm. So there's a crisis in our church, a hermeneutical crisis, and I think that is something that we really need to begin to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. How do we approach the scriptures? Do our members even know how to approach the scriptures? Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And Oh, go ahead, Jay.